the popularity of vegetable gardening is skyrocketing. If you're interested in growing your own vegetables, there's no better place to learn than here at the Garden of Heber and Merriam Etheridge. The basics of a vegetable garden are sun and good soil. Yesterday's heavy rain is hardly noticeable because Heber has designed a series of raised beds. The construction of these beds makes it easy to work from all sides without compacting the soil. The soil is a mixture of one-third delta topsoil, one-third sand, and one-third composted cotton burr. The raised beds and the soil mixture provide a good home for the roots of plants while promoting good drainage. Heber grows many of his own transplants in his greenhouse. Today he has around 25 tomato varieties, which were set out on March 6th. All are grown in cages. The cages protect the fruit from sun scald and injury from small hail. Behind the tomatoes are small cucumbers that will be trained on a wire trellis. In other planters, Heber has 600 Texas Sweet 1015Y onions that are just about ready to harvest. And even though some say we can't grow asparagus in the south, Heber has an asparagus bed that's almost 30 years old. Bed preparation is the key. He dug 12 inches below the box to create the required depth of planting mix needed for asparagus roots. He harvests through early summer, then lets the plants grow their fern-like foliage. This produces energy for next year's harvest. Remember, raised beds, good soil preparation, and plenty of sunlight, and you'll be growing vegetables just like Heber Etheridge in Madison, Mississippi. I'm Norman Winter for Southern Gardening.